Hello everyone, Brian here. Uh, just finishing up the series on Kumamoto Castle. It is done, and that's how it came out. Uh, it was about eight hours worth of work over a month's worth of time, mostly because I work slow. And this is the first glue-up paper model I've done, and so I was feeling my way through it. Uh, came out pretty good, um, you know, for a first effort. Um, I'm not unhappy with it, and the further away you get from it, the more impressive it is, uh, which is almost always the case with models. Uh, a couple of things perhaps I would wish I had done a little differently is the um, roof here doesn't quite match, doesn't quite line up with um, the piece underneath it. Um, I wish I had done that a little differently. I've already talked about the fact that I accidentally glued a couple of the shutters shut. Not a big deal, but um, I'll be more careful about that kind of thing next time. And then under here, if you look under the tree there, you can see this side of the castle angles up so that the base doesn't quite touch. Um, I'm not sure what I could have done differently about that. I tried to glue that all up just as straight as I possibly could and yet I've still got an angle on that side of the castle. Fortunately, it's hidden by the tree, so it's really no big deal. So, not bad. Not bad. Uh, this is cheap enough that I could, I could buy it again and do it again if I weren't, um, uh, if I weren't generally happy with the results. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that. However, uh, it's time to move on to the next thing. Uh, I, one of um, one of you commented that um, Kumamoto is available as a free download on a um, Canon site in which there's a bunch of paper models. Um, I took a look at that. Um, true, it is there available as a download, but it doesn't look like it has nearly the detail this one has. Um, it's a much flatter model. Um, it looks like it's got a lot fewer pieces. Recall that this was, what, this was somewhere between 70 and 90 pieces, I think. Um, this is a fairly detailed model. There's a lot going on here. Um, and it, it's very three-dimensional, whereas the, um, uh, the paper model you can down online is much flatter. Um, you know, in this model, uh, things like uh, the white that you see, say, up here in the gable, uh, that's a separate piece that you glue on over the black, whereas in the paper model, it's just, you know, these things are just kind of printed together. Um, even down here on the bushes, um, the red, uh, I assume flowers here, are a separate piece from the green, and so there's they pop out. There's, there's some texture there that uh, you don't get on that paper model. Um, so for the price, this was, uh, I can't remember now, this was less than, I believe it was less than $20. Um, you know, so for $20 for eight hours worth of work and, and what turns out to be a fairly nice, um, you know, a fairly nice finished product in its own display box, I think it's worth the money. So there you go. That's the end of the Kumamoto Castle series. Um interesting online. Uh, this castle suffered quite a bit of, of earthquake damage in 1986, and they've been restoring it. I believe I read somewhere that um, a portion of the proceeds from uh, this particular model by Paper Nano goes towards its restoration. Um, so that's nice, and I would love to see this for real. It looks like a very impressive, uh, very impressive building when you look at it online. Uh, so it's on our list next time we go next time. If I ever go to Japan for the first time, um, I would love to go see this. Um, so we'll see if that ever happens. So thank you all for joining me. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.